Alright YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an RPG uh, toolbar UI like this right here, this thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, the shape, the layer styles, this thing that goes over the the blue stuff and all these right here as well. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, uh, the background. I'm going to make this darker, so I'm going to pick a dark gray color. I'm going to hit Alt Backspace. Alright, next let's go for our ellipse tool. So it's going to be right here. Uh, let's make a new layer. And I'm going to drag some rulers. Right here. Just so I get the exact shape. I'm going to click and hold. And then I'm going to hold Shift and Alt as I drag it out. This is gonna give me the exact uh, shape that I want. Um, it's got low quality so I can't really see that clearly but I think I have a rough idea. Alright so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna right click. Let's go into blending options right here. And now let's go for hmm let's go for a gradient overlay. Mode is normal, opacity is all the way up. Let's click on the gradient box, double click on the first color. I'm gonna pick this color on the bottom, double click right here, and click on a different color. So now we have this angle is 90. Alright, now let's go for in the shadow. Mode is normal, opacity all the way up, and size. Uh, angle, let's go for negative 90. Drag these distance up a little bit. So we got something like this right here. You know what I mean? Uh, let's try overlay actually. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think the color is a little bit off. Now let's go for a new inner shadow. This time, it's going to be color white. Uh, choke is going to be up. Distance down. Let's go back to overlay. So we got something like this. Okay. Alright, yeah, I think the color is a little bit off, so I'm going to change it a little bit. The shade just feels kind of off. I think that looks better. I think. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Now I'm going to fix the inner shadow. There we go. That looks a lot better. Uh, let's add a stroke. And for the uh, stroke right here, I'm gonna select a dark uh, color like this. So now we have something like this. Cool. Um. Okay. Now. All right. Now let's Control J to copy this shape. Uh, take the FX on the right side of the layer. Drag it down to the trash can and uh, let go. This is going to remove all the effects because now we're going to go back to our ellipse tool and go to fill. We're going to turn it off and uh, we're going to turn stroke. We're going to turn stroke on. So hit this button, make it white. But you see the error. The problem is the stroke is on the inside. So we're going to click here, go align on the outside, and Control T, Shift and Alt, and make sure it goes on the outside. Let's go for our blending options, color overlay. Let's go for this inside color right here. Alright, seems like this is kind of misaligned, so we're gonna fix it. Alright, um, that was good. Okay. 
Uh, you can go for bevel and boss if you want to. I mean, it's up to you. I think it's pretty cool. You can really go for it. Alright, now let's copy this again. Control T, hold shift and all. Drag this out, and this one, I'm going to make it a bit thicker. So let's go for like three. And let's change the color. Two. It's nice. Yellow. Go color thing right here. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's so right click, copy layer style, and uh, let's Control J, and then remove the layer style from this ellipse because we still have to. We still gotta make this shape. Alright, so how we make that is let's use our pencil. Colors gonna be white to match the ellipse. Let's make a new layer. Uh, fill is on. And we just gotta click. Click and drag. Hold Alt to click right here. Click and drag. And then click and drag. Like that. So now we have this shape. Control J, Control T, right click, flip vertical. Let me bottom. Now hold Control, click all these, and hit Control G, Control E. Actually Control G, and then Control J, Control E. So we have a backup in case we gotta fix them. So now right click, and we're gonna paste that layer style that we added, um, that we had earlier. So now. We got something like this. Really cool. And a little stroke as well. Just kind of bring it out. <laughs> Alright, now for the little shape in the middle. It's very simple. Uh, you can go for polygon tool, new layer, sides, three for a triangle. And we're just gonna make a triangle, right? And then, we'll go, and then we can go uh, control T zoom in and drag it out all right so we have our triangle let's double click let's go for color overlay let's go for blue let's add a drop uh inner shadow color is black like it's going in this uh, let's add a drop shadow now Boom. uh satin maybe Let's see. All right, that was good. Let's go right here. Perfect. So now uh, I'm just gonna copy Control C, right click, flip vertical, and let's get it right here. All right, so we have our first item right here. The other ones are pretty much the same thing, but a lot simpler and with uh, this little ellipse thing. So let's just go ahead and make that real quick. So let's copy and paste this. Let's go Control T. Let's make it smaller, holding Alt as we drag this down, and we could remove the little things here. Uh, we can keep this ellipse and copy the effect from this one. So we got this. Perfect. And uh, let's go copy and paste these two. And control T. So we got this. Here we go. Now I gotta do is just put a number. And right here for this red outline, 
what you could do is same thing um, if you take this and make it smaller move the effects right and you just and you just make this thicker I mean if you want to like that put this under <coughs> and uh, just change the color as you can see so that is pretty much it that's how you make an RPG toolbar UI I hope you guys enjoyed in the next video we can make the health bars and this uh, dialog box so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video Thank you.